Happy Independence Day. Decided to take my day off during the middle of the week to uh, go wash my motorcycle. So we'll do a partial wash at the, at the, uh, what do you call the thing? At the car wash. And then I'll finish up at home. But we'll record the first part where I'm at the car wash. I normally go to a self wash to get my bike washed most of the time and then when I want to have like a deep clean I'll have a mobile car wash person come and do it at my at my building but given that I've never washed my bike uh, this is my you know my brand new bike never got the opportunity to wash it and I want to do the first wash myself even if it's going to be a mediocre job mainly because it's hot and I didn't bring my backpack so I don't have any like any of my gear my wash gear there is a reason why I didn't bring it it's, it's hot I'm actually a big fan of this this self wash over here near where I live because they have uh, a dryer it's a hose dryer, so I can blow all of the water off and I don't really have to worry about spots. Normally I use the spot-free rinse, anyways, to try to limit the amount of spots, the hard water spots that appear on my bike. It's something you have to watch out for, especially if you wash the bike while it's warm. Uh, it'll cause the water to evaporate off fairly quickly. making sure nobody's about to run into me. Make sure everything's still plugged in. One of my videos that I was trying to record ended up becoming ruined or getting ruined. I don't know, I can't speak today. It got ruined by the fact that my, uh, what do you call it? The, the mic cable, it wasn't in all the way. So, I just got silence. Wasn't happy about that. I kind of want to figure out a, a better solution for for getting decent audio into my DJI. I'm not a fan of this this USB attachment that they have, which for it, it sticks out too far. I must rather have something that, you know, doesn't stick out as far. That's a little bit more compact. You know, something like a mic input directly, just built in, right? Instead of an attachment. That would be the ideal solution. Right here is Montrose. It's a little, uh, it's a little interesting. It got all these these antique shops, like used clothes shops, and all that kind of stuff over here. Some good food as well. Oh, the uh, ramen place is open. Maybe I'll go there for lunch. Yeah, yeah, I'll go here for lunch. Not now though. I need to I need to get the bike wash first. That is my primary objective. That's the only reason why I decided to come out during the hottest part of the day was to take care of this business. This dude's out here running. He had the, uh, the sunscreen on his nose to prevent getting burned, I assume. I 
normally go a little bit slower through these stop signs, even though there's a stop sign, you know, I don't really trust people to, to do the right thing all the time. Man, she's out here too. Maybe I'm just being a little punk. Maybe that's, <laughs> maybe it's just me being a punk. Although my excuse is I do have on this gear and I'm on this hot ass bike. It's already hot. Coming up to the location. I forgot the name of the car wash, but I've been coming here for years. I've even taken uh, my cars. Sometimes I'll come and wash my own cars out over here. It's right over there. Hopefully, it's got some empty spots. You know, I imagine I'm not the only person who had the brilliant idea to take their off day to come wash their vehicle. Nobody's behind me, so I'm good for now. Ugh. That's... I don't get it. Why are we not flying the American flag? In America. That shit's offensive, especially today of all days. At least we got it here. Alright, we got our American and the Texas flag here. Okay, it looks like I wasn't the only one with the brilliant idea. And there are already people here. Oh, look at that. Somebody's leaving. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at that. All right, so we'll kind of put it over here. All right. Looks like we're all good. So I got my credit card. That's one of the things that I love about this uh, dealership, not dealership, I, I don't know what I'm saying, uh, about this car wash, is that you can just use a credit card. I think it's this way. I think we're good. So first thing we're going to do is a spot free rinse. Just to wet it up a little bit, you know. Be careful on these grates here. I'm wearing these boots and... Uh, while they do offer good good grip on the road when it's wet they do they can be a little bit slick so as you'll notice i'm only washing the bottom part that's the only part that got dirty from my ride the other day the top part i can wash at home using my my waterless basically i, I use detail spray to wash my bike most of the time so we'll try to make sure that we don't get any of this stuff up there and i can always uh, clean that off at home. Uh, this water also helps coil off the bike slightly before I put soap and all the other stuff on. Actually, it's not too bad either. Uh, in this shade, it feels quite pleasant. It could be better though, obviously. It's still hot, but it's not, it's not like death hot, you know? Let's also get underneath here. Make sure we get the bottom of the exhaust. Okay. So now we'll do the the brush, the foaming brush it's, uh, for the soap. And this is a reason why I'm, never, I'm not going to do the top either because obviously I'm cleaning wheels with, uh, <laughs> with this brush here. And last thing you want to do is scratch up matte paint. Even though it's plastic, I still want to take care of it as best I can and be a little bit careful with some of this stuff so that I don't damage anything. It looks like I won't be able to get into all those nooks and crevices, so 
I'll probably end up using the pressure wash too with the soap and the wheel cleaner. I try to avoid pressure washing uh, my motorcycles. Uh, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but I just don't like doing it. And we'll get that right there. All right. Uh, maybe, huh, let's see if I can unlock the wheels so that it's not uh, leaned, so I can actually get to the wheels. And let's hope that it doesn't fall over. That would suck. Okay, it's not falling over, so we're kind of good. We'll get this. And all of this components here. All right, got to be really careful here, mainly because it's slippery. Okay, that looks good. Now we'll do the soap. Actually, where is the, uh, yeah, we'll do the tire cleaner first. Still not out. I think it's green or something. Yeah, there it goes. There we go. Now we get our our tire and wheel cleaner and engine cleaner. I'm trying to just get it on the wheels. That's good enough. All right, let's get some soap. Make sure we're actually getting soap. All right. And notice that I'm only getting them really the bottom bits. You know, getting the nooks and crannies. That's really all I'm using this soap for. And it's high pressure, so I can get it in the wheels and not really have to worry about anything. And also underneath here, Good. Now we will do a spot free rinse to finish it off.
Oh, I'm sweating. It's dripping all out of my helmet. So I guess it is hot now. So I'm just making sure I get all the soap off, really. All right. I think we're good with all of the soap. Just do a, one, uh, one last pastor. All right. So it's okay that I get some of this water because it's spot free, you know. It's okay if I get a little bit on the on the top part. Because like I said, I'm going to go home and finish it up. So just want to make sure all of the soap is off. All right. Cool. Now for the reason why I like coming to this particular car wash is the air dryer. A lot. Check this out, it just blows it right out. And it's pretty warm there too. I don't need to get it completely dry, but I want to get it mostly dry. And by the time I get home, it will probably be completely dry. But the reason why I want to get it mostly dry is that uh, I don't want water flinging up on me when I'm riding. So I'm trying to get all the water out of the wheel, as well as in all these nooks and crevices. Takes a little bit of time, but it's worth it. And remember, like I said, like it may look dirty. I don't know what it looks like on the camera, but I'm just trying to get all the mud off, really. The other stuff I can get done at home. Almost done. And I can cool off. I am sweating profusely right now. Uh oh, I missed the spot right there. Damn it. We'll have to get that another time.
Yeah, right there, the triple fork, the triple clamp. That uh, still has a little bit of mud. But I think we're going to have to just deal with it, tolerate it. Make sure that the wheel is as dry as possible. This tire, I mean. Especially on the corner. Even though I don't really, I'm not about to corner. Still want to make sure I'm as safe as possible. Leaving the powder here. Okay. I think that does it. Make sure all the water is out of here. Okay. That does it. We'll go ahead and stop. So, 10 bucks and some change to get most of the mud off. And I'll go back home and finish up there. So I gotta be as careful as possible because it's slippery. My feet, my boots are wet. Let's dry them off. Let's drag them on the ground. <laughs> I'm not going too fast right now because I just want, you know, just the nice breeze, the warm breeze to kind of help evaporate some of this water. Oh, I forgot. I'm going to get. I'm going to go eat, eat lunch first. I completely forgot. Also, one thing I have to be mindful of: or my brakes are wet, the pads are wet. So, uh, what I'm going to do now is ride the rear brake just to get that dry. Not too fast, not too hard. Just enough to, just enough to uh, get it warm a little bit and dry it off. Yeah, we're good. So those are done. And then we're going to do the same thing with the front brakes. So I feel them, I'm feeling them uh, slipping a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll ride slowly while, while pulling the front brake in. And this is something that like I don't recommend for a lot of people unless you have perfect uh, throttle control as well as lever control. So right now I am actually, I'm actually on the brake uh, while also going. Yeah, it's still still wet, but only when I pull in harder. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit more brake input. I'm still going to go slow. All right, so I actually have throttle in. If I let go of the brake, you notice I speed up. So we'll bring it just to warm them up. Okay. I think we're good. Yep, no more, no more slipping. And we'll go on over here to this ramen spot. And I'm gonna go and grab something to eat. I don't have any of my other cameras. I didn't bring any backpacks or anything like that. So we'll probably use this action camera to show off my food that I'm about to get. will also cool off <laughs> uh, once I get there.
Okay, so this parking lot is a bit of a of a danger uh, due to the way it's constructed. So I can't really set it here, so I'm gonna go over here, right in this little handicap area. Okay, we are here. I don't know what it's called, but they started out in Austin. The bike is, it may not look clean, but it will be, trust me. Uh, all the mud's going, which is good. Uh, I have special plastic conditioner that I use that makes this uh, matte plastic. It, it keeps the, the, I don't know, it keeps it matte, but it, it makes it pop. I don't know how to explain it. I'll probably leave the wheels as, as they are. I don't really, eh, I don't know. Maybe I'll use detail spray and then I'll use detail spray to get the top as well as I'll clean this up myself and we'll clean this up with uh, Windex. Same with this stuff right here. I normally use Windex because it has alcohol. Here is my lunch. Ramen, extra chashu, and a spicy bomb. And some type of hibiscus passion fruit tea. I don't know, I just, I just got it. So yeah, I'm gonna eat and we'll be back on the road in a bit. got to be a little careful because I'm wearing my this is more of a just around the street kind of jacket even though they claim that it's rated for impacts I don't know if I trust that because uh, it's got mesh and I don't have a back protector in this backpack and I don't have a backpack on so definitely got to be a little bit more careful Sure, nobody's about to run a bow. a little rough on this street I normally try to avoid this this road even in my cars but it's rough <clears throat> this could be death on a bike Ugh. Road mode is not too bad. I think I'm just getting used to how rough. Oh shit, never mind. I'll take it all back. Disgusting road crossings. That used to be a dumpling place, a Korean dumpling place. It was really good. I'm sad that they closed down. hot 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 not just normal hot
traffic out here than I thought there would be. There is a certain time of day that I just don't want to be out here. And that's going to be around evening. So, you know, I'll probably go hang out at my friend's house for, you know, maybe a couple hours or so. And then head back, come back and uh, edit some videos. I still got part two of my last moto vlog to release. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. It's, I feel nothing but hot air blasting me right now. It's kind of weird. Cause I'm used to when I'm moving fast, cooling off and I have this insanely hot air blowing into me. I'm gonna take the freeway all the way there or most of the way there. Normally I would exit over here and then you know, uh, go underneath the freeway and take the street, but it's a little warm. You may notice that today the audio sounds very different. It's because I went to Ross my bike and I didn't bring anything, just this camera. Mostly to record myself, my rides, that's really why I have the camera on this helmet. But there's not going to be the same aud auditory experience that some of you may have gotten accustomed to. It's just going to be me talking fairly quietly actually. Alright homie, what are you doing? Put your signal on after you turn, you fucking idiot. These people are going to be trying to merge. Oh wait, no, I'm going to merge. Okay, well, make sure I got room to merge. Let's just do it now. They're exiting. I guess so. Okay, we made it to this part of town safely. Let's see if I can make it the rest of the way safely.
guess they're turning. Make sure they're gonna stop. looking good it looks clean from a distance even though up close it could be better three hours later This breeze is amazing. It's still warm air, but just to have any kind of breezes, oh man, it's amazing. I'm going to take the freeway back home just so I don't have to stop at all these lights. I don't like being on the streets, especially when uh, when uh, people aren't really paying attention. And I think that's just something that happens common these days is people are on, people are on phones, distracted. And I don't have a uh, fender because I took it off to put on this uh, this uh, what, tail tidy. So because I don't have a fender, whenever I get hit, it's me getting hit.
Uh oh, I took the wrong exit. They redid the exits. God damn it. Alright, well, I guess I'll take a more scenic route back home. Sorry. Almost home. 